Hey y'all, Ron here. Man, it is a windy, 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 did I say the wind is blowing? Sunday. Man, it's crazy. Slurp, slurp. Mm. Give me some of that good tea again. Um, you know, I was going to cancel. I had that Sips by subscription box that they send, you know, teas kind of catered to your flavorings uh, once a month. And I thought, mm, you know, it's a little pricey and I thought, no, I think I'll cancel it. Well, then they send me some really awesome tea. And so I was like, I'm excited to try something else now. <laughs> but, um, so I'm not going to cancel it yet. Let me turn this light on. So when I got to click three times, oh, there we go. Let me turn this one that way and less shadow. So this is just a blah, 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 hello. A little quick update because I thought I would say hi. I was getting ready to sit down and start a project, but oh, let me grab this. So we made a little video on this. This was an envelope. Remember, it was. Hang on. Hang on. Well, it was one like this, but bigger that I folded in half. So it was just an Amazon envelope. And uh, so this is what it's made into. So we have a pocket here, a pocket there, and a pocket there. And so I was working on my daughter's junk journal a little bit, and I need to clear my desk for something else, so it all went in here. So I'm just really pleased how that came out, so I'm loving that. And where are they? Where are they? Really? I just had them laid out here for this video, and now... Oh, I put them right over here so I could get to them easy. <clears throat> I'm loving these. So I know you guys have been asking... Um, my first ones came from Timu, and you know, it takes a little while to get here, you know, sometimes it's a week, sometimes it's two weeks, uh, just depending, and I absolutely love them, and I looked on Amazon, I found the exact same thing, I mean, same style, same size, same everything, so I ordered, ordered some from Amazon, and look, I mean, this sucker's pretty full, with stamps and dies, so there are some that has, have the, uh, two pockets, like this, let me scoot you down just a little bit, has the two pockets so I have my stamps and dies in there if they're matching these are just the one pocket okay and then some of them I even have a magnetic sheet in there so that makes it even that much more heavy if there's a lot of little pieces and so you can tell this is I mean pretty full heavy you know because of those I could still put a little bit more in here and it's just fine easy to handle uh, I'm just loving it. So I'll link all that below, but I wanted to give you another update now that I've really been using this and filling these up that I absolutely love them. And slurp alert. Mm. Oh, that's good. And, and for those of you that didn't know, I'm sure a lot of you do, but there may be somebody that doesn't. So if you're a Tim Holtz fan and you have any of his distress inks, distress oxides, um, glazes, watercolor pencils, whatever, you can actually go online. Um, I'll link the website, uh, which is ranger, I think it's ranger.com. Um, it's, they're kind of hard to find once you get there. So I just Googled, uh, what did I Google? Like Tim Holtz color charts and, um, and it came up, but I will also put a link down below. So this is like, you know, I always tell you to swatch stuff out because it's not, the color on the cap or the color that you see on the end of the pencil is not exactly what you get. So it's best to swatch everything out. It doesn't take that much time. These are for his watercolor pencils. See, they have the squares. They're already labeled. And so what I did was, this is, uh, not Woodware, um, Northwoods watercolor paper. God, I'm at a blank here. Um, so I made sure it was eight and a half by 11. I put it through my copier. Because I want to swatch this out, if you're going to use watercolor pencils, you use watercolor paper. If you're going to use any kind of watercolor, anything, you use watercolor paper. If you're going to use alcohol markers, um, you know, Spectrum Noir, Copics, any of that stuff, you use marker, well, excuse me, marker paper. So I printed this. Um, the reason why I say this was Northwoods is because it's a little thinner than most um, watercolor paper. So it went through just fine. That thicker, you might have to kind of watch it. So I will take the pencil and scribble a little bit there, and then I'll take a watercolor um, brush or a little paintbrush and drag it out 
um, so I can see exactly what the what is. I do my swatching. And then here's one for Distress Inks. And here's one for Distress Oxides. And then here's one for the Archival Ink. And like I said, they already have the names and everything on there for you. This is for the um, Alcohol, the Pearl, and the Alcohol Inks, and then they have the Pearls. So this is for the Pearl. Uh, this is Ranger, Simon Hurley. Um, this is his inks, but it, it's all Ranger. Um, alcohol inks. This is Tim Holtz alcohol inks. So his are the little bottles. Here's Distress Spray Stain. Distress Oxide Spray. Embossing Glaze. And then here's even little labels that you can cut out. And they're, you know, pretty darn close. So you just cut that out and then put it on the end of your, do I have this one done? No. And just put it on the end right here. And then when you have them stacked, either stacked up this way, you can see the end. Or if you have the containers, um, the storage containers for these pads, you know, they all stack like this. So you can see the swatch right there. So that's pretty cool. And you don't have to worry about cutting a piece of paper out that size, inking it up, letting it dry, sticking it on there, all of that. So what I thought I would do, since we have little squares, now the embossing glaze is no big deal, but what are you gonna do if you have a spray? You spray and it's gonna get all over this? No, what I'm gonna do is take a piece of paper and as far as my a little square punch, I'll get a square punch that this, this size, or I will just take my ruler and a straight uh, and a exacto knife and cut out a square that size or maybe just a hair smaller and then just lay that over this so that's all you're going to see and spritz that and then next one lay it over this spritz it so all that ex excess will get on the sheet that you're covering you just have the little hole there it'll get all over that and not all over this hope that makes sense so that's what I'm going to do. Alcohol inks, you're just going to have to do a little drop or get a little paintbrush and do that. I don't have Simon Hurley's yet, but I will. I have the alcohol pearls. I have a few archival inks. And of course, I have the distressed oxides. And I'll do the same thing there. <clears throat> um, unless you have a small daub dauber. Um, or if you just want to take the edge. Well, what was that? Ink. Okay. Or if you want to take the edge, but this is not really a true, true color. I mean, that's going to be really dark. Just take the edge and wipe on there a little bit. It's not going to show you the, the real, real color. You really need to use a brush or a sponge. So like I said, I'll have a piece of paper with a little square cut in it that just, you know, will just expose this. And then I'll take my sponge or my brushes, color that in. That'd be fine. Then you go to the next one and just color that. That way you won't have to worry about getting all over the place. So, I hope that helps. I'm excited to do this. You know, because sometimes you don't want to really be crafty and come up with ideas and all that. And you just kind of want to do work like this. So, that's what you do. Slurp, slurp. Um, Or you trim out pages or, you know, different things like that. So, this was just a quick little hidey hidey ho and a little information. And, um going to finish clearing off some of my desk and get busy on another project. So until next time, bye for now.